One of the main questions that we've been asked in this last week or so is what are my options if I'm unable to work due to the school's closing? Well, the first thing we suggest is that you speak to your employer and see what they suggest in terms of options. But HMRC have updated their guidance to say that an employer may furlough an employee who cannot work due to childcare issues because of the school's closing. And so your employer does have the option to furlough you either flexibly or fully whilst you're unable to work due to the school closures. Um, if your employer refuses to furlough you, there are a couple of other options available to you. The first is time off for dependents. Now, this is a short uh, period of leave that's available to make arrangements. So in an emergency situation, for example, if childcare breaks down or you need to make alternative arrangements, then you have the right to have a reasonable period of time off to uh, make other arrangements. This is unpaid, unfortunately. Um, the second option available to you is parental leave. Now, employees who have children under the age of 18 have the right to take up to 18 weeks parental leave. It's unpaid and the maximum you can take in a year is four weeks. So that is a option available for you in the short term and which you can talk to your employer about. The third option is, of course, you could ask to take some of your holiday or annual leave entitlements so that you continue to be paid and have some time off. You have the option, of course, of asking for unpaid leave. Now, I know that this may not be a realistic option for you, but it is something that is available if you're really struggling to be able to cover work and childcare. And then, of course, you can also ask for a temporary change to your normal contracted hours. If, for example, you need to change the hours you work because you need to work in the evening um, so you can do homeschooling during the day, you can ask your employer before this or if you need to reduce your hours, you can ask for part time working. So the, obviously the best option for most people would be to be furloughed because you can continue to receive 80% of your pay. But if your employer refuses, there are some other options available for you. My advice is always to open a dialogue with your employer. It's about communication and explaining your reasons why you're not able to work as normal during this time and see if you can reach some form of agreement with your employer. It's much better if you work together to reach that agreement in the long run. But if your employer is continuing to be unreasonable and unhelpful, then you can, of course, get some advice. We offer an initial free telephone call. We're very used to advising on these issues. And of course, we're very sympathetic to your situation as well. So do please get in touch. All the details are in the links below.